Well, welcome to uh, Place Vendôme, Paris, France. Place Vendôme. Uh, I'm staying at the uh, the Ritz Hotel, which is uh, just in the top of the frame there. Ritz Hotel, Paris, at Place Vendôme. Just uh, standing uh, out front in the uh, square here. It's dedicated to uh, Napoleon. Led the uh, the French Revolution We're in France, 1789. It's uh, Napoleon, Napoleon statue up there. And, uh, there's lots of uh, nice uh, shops and restaurants and uh, the like around, uh, around the square. Just pan around. It's very nice in the evenings. I'll show you some footage of that later. A little bit of uh, sunrise happening. Just out there. Look at all the designer shops, Gucci, Louis Vuitton. There you can see. And, uh, Christian Dior, Chomey, Gucci again, and uh, Napoleon, right in the middle, leader of the uh, French Revolution. And uh, just over here, you've got the uh, the French uh, Justice Ministry. That's the flag. I'll just walk you in the direction of the uh, the hotel. We're in uh, November here, Christmas trees are up, it's very nice in the evenings, they light up the uh, Christmas tree. We've got Bulgari straight ahead, Katia next door. And our hotel is uh, the one next to the graph shops, this is our hotel, the four white uh, domes there, it's the French uh, Ministry of Justice, just here, got the French uh, tricolor flying above. Viva la France, Viva la République. There's the Justice Ministry there. Some people waiting outside. It's a working day in uh, Paris this morning. Friday morning and uh, yeah, that's our hotel, the Ritz. Some uh, Christmas trees out front. So I'll take you inside, show you the lobby. I've got a nice suite there with the balcony and the like. And uh, yeah, I'll take you through my staycation at the Ritz in Paris. Not a staycation, but it feels like it. They say welcome home when you check in. So uh, we'll call it a staycation in Paris. So it's right there. Alright, let's see inside. Watched over by Napoleon. Alright, let's see inside. Inside the Ritz. So, uh, right. so uh, welcome in the uh, the lobby at the Ritz. That's the uh, the front entrance. The bar vendor is to the left. So uh, one of their brasserie restaurants. So on the left, it's okay walking around in the morning. Beautiful place. Salon Prost is the uh, afternoon tea place on the right. Here's jewelries and the place at Salon Prost. Breakfast is uh, straight ahead in the restaurant. There's the Salon Prost. Flowering. My room is uh, just up here. Got uh, breakfast through there. 
I'm right now for breakfast in a second. I'll just get around. There's people there. And then I've got the gallery here, which is like the shops. Shops in the garden. So Caesar Ritz's uh, sculpture you saw at the front. Opened the hotel 125 years ago. His wife uh, didn't fancy going shopping at all the fancy shops outside. All the branded shops, so uh, she's got them all here. So this is the gallery. It's all the shops here, it's beautiful. Graf Tasaki. Dull Oaks. Gucci is my uh, basic favorite. Yeah, I like this dress actually. Longchamp. Not the overpriced brand, but I like that one. That's good. Yeah, let's just walk down. And then they've got TWG tea and coffee. Down here as well. It's more long jump. I had batch of coffee once, yeah. I'm not convinced it's uh, better than Starbucks, to be honest. Yeah, is this is the, uh, the gallery here. Just doing an early morning walk before. Uh, Shops open before people get here. Swain, nice blue handbag. Yeah, it's the garden outside. I'll take it for a walk in there later. There's more stuff trying to buy Hemingway's at the back. Along with uh, Espandon, which is their uh, signature restaurant. That's the garden outside. If you can see that. So this is one aspect of the gallery. Just keep walking. Beautiful. There's the Bacha coffee. And it keeps going. This bit's like plates. And this is their souvenir shop, the Ritz. You can buy their plates and their towels and bathrobes and stuff. I don't have a look, it's quite expensive actually. Sunglasses. Yeah, it's quite expensive. It's like 500 euros for their bathrobe. It's not the sort of thing I like. Beverly Hills Cops film where Eddie Murphy got them to pay for it at the Beverly Hills Police Department. Now it's 500 euros for a bathrobe. Expensive. Anita Co. Ilona Orel. Yeah, so these are the, the teddy bears and things you can buy. 65 euros for a small teddy bear, 500 euros for the jump project. Flip flops, I'll get it for free in the spa. Uh, <coughs> All right, so that's a walk through the lobby and the gallery. At the back here, you've got the, uh, at the back, you've got the, uh, The restaurant, it's their signature restaurant. They spend on the chef is female, the head chef. She lived in the Ivory Coast for 18 years. So you got a bit of a French and uh, African kind of themed food. Yeah, it's the place. It's a bar Hemingway's at the back here. Let's walk you through. This is a Ritz bar. And they're like this. Let's keep walking, nobody's stopping me. Yes, anyway, bar through there. Alrighty, let's walk through the uh, the lobby and the, the gallery. All right, bit there. We'll see you upstairs, I think. Espandon. That one, Espandon. If you want to make a reservation table for two for dinner, eight hundred and fifty euro deposit. Eight fifty. I tried, but nope. All right. See upstairs. Yeah, 850 euro deposit.
So uh, welcome to my uh, floor at the uh, the Ritz Paris in uh, room uh, 118. It's the corridor. It's a beautifully decorated uh, place. Yeah, it's uh, Mr. K in the mirror. Sports fans, greetings. Welcome to Paris and the Ritz. It's like that. And uh, yeah, in uh, 118, just got in uh, earlier today. Just uh, finished unpacking and stuff and uh, got three days, two nights here at the Ritz. This is me, this is Azra, the one on eight. And uh, these are the flowers they've got here. <coughs> uh, that's your key card. Hi, hello, hello. Hi, hi. hi. How are you, sir? Yeah, good, thanks, good. Yep. That's your, it's uh, the key card here. One on eight. And uh, let's go in and uh, I'll show you around the place. So uh, I booked the room a few months ago, right? It was. Uh, some sort of nice, they had this forever Paris offer, but I think they've upgraded us to a suite. Because uh, I asked him if they have a balcony. He checked in. All right, let's just lock the door first. Look at the painting. Let's just lock the door first, just have a look at that for a second. Because uh, the key card, they, they bring you up and the guy said he's gonna bring me a new key card. Because anyway, we've seen that before. Hotel rooms, all right, let me just quickly walk you around and then I'll take you around the, all the details. So uh, this is your living room. And you get a balcony that overlooks the hotel's gardens. Some gardens there. It's in a courtyard. We're at uh, Place Vendôme, near Place de la Concorde. So we we're lucky enough to have a small garden out there. And uh, you also get uh, a little bookshelf area, various paintings and the like. This is the welcome stuff when you arrive. They give you all this welcome stuff. You get a handwritten letter as well. There, it's yep. And I'll uh, take you through to the uh, the other rooms, the plural there. So that that garden runs parallel to the gallery downstairs where all the shops are. Uh, that's where the owner's wife she wanted to do all her own shopping. Caesar Ritz. So they just brought the shops into the uh, the hotel. Anyway, so this is uh, the bedroom. She's like this. So you get your bed. And uh, so this was the first hotel in the world to have electricity and running water in every room. Electricity and running water in every room, right? So that's the electricity. And you saw a table, uh, you saw water on the table. Oh, that's from Avian. Water, yes, yeah, so that's the bedroom. You get your TV with a, so it looks like that. Desk. And that uh, controls everything. So they give you this, so this is my, the plans why I'm staying here. All the reservations, afternoon tea, dinner. We're taking the Mercedes S class out of here. Two days time, more than two days actually. And then, uh, yeah, there's the bathroom through here. It's the bathroom and the bathtub. It's like this. So, uh, sports fans, greetings. Uh, welcome to the Ritz Paris. Rich Paris, boys and girls, welcome. Sports fans, greetings. It's the Cricket World Cup semi finals going on at the moment. Australia, South Africa, the winner will play India in the final. So uh, that's the sport that's going on at the moment. I'm not sure if it's on uh, French TV. But, uh, that's the Ritz. All right, so we'll go to the front and uh, walk you around the place in detail. My chandeliers. Just look at the balcony first. I should look at the balcony last because uh, it's a bit cold outside. Yeah, so you get, uh, I'll start at the front again, yeah? You get nice paintings on the wall, you get lots of books. Books and vase, like that. So uh, Chanel, the designer, lived in this hotel for 35 years. One of the suites at the back upstairs, you got a clock there. So everything is controlled from uh, from the phone. So all the, the stuff, you all use press buttons to control everything here at the Ritz. It's another place where they give you pens and not pencils to write with. Yeah, and then we got here and uh, you get free, you get this fruit. Fruit, even the glasses, that's Coke Zero in there. Glasses are uh, embossed with the hotel's name. Yeah, Avian Water. First hotel in the world to have uh, electricity and running water in every room. All right, be that. And then uh, this is, uh, it looks like chocolates, yeah? 
it's, I thought it was a key that we got here. Yeah, but I think it's chocolate because taking it out and this bit broke. You see, so it must be chocolate. We'll eat it later. Yeah, a key wouldn't break so easily, right? Not in a place like this. Rooms are 2,500 euros a night, something like that. Staying two nights. Yeah. All right. That's this bit. Got a painting here. French country and English country. Fairly similar, I would guess. Yeah. Okay. There's another TV there. I'll let you know when we check out if we actually turn the TV on at any time. Because it's so nice. Okay. Mini bar was... I opened that without showing you. Like that. You just open the handle. That's your mini bar. It's got all these goodies. We used to call this the boy stuff, right? Because it's spirits. And then you also get your bar nuts up here. It's not at random. It says, what does that say? Marrakech. Marrakech. Morocco. Casablanca is in Morocco. Yeah. Yeah, and then you get a bottle of wine. Chateau Tour de Marbouze. What year is it? 2018 is the year. And then you get your mini bar. All the stuff they can pause that on my iPhone 15 Pro Max. I'm sure the resolution is good enough for you to see what the prices are. Yes. Okay, and then they got the fridge and uh, goodies here. So I have opened the uh, can of Coke, bottle of Coke from here. So it's the bottle opener there. Yeah. Like that. Then you get. So one's missing, which Mr. K took. Bottom left, Coke Zero. Yep. Yeah, that's your delightful mini bar here. All right, we'll see what's left at the end of uh, two plus days. Okay, the saloon room. Very nice, huh? Very nice indeed. I think we can certainly use the Eddie Murphy line here, yeah? You know what I like most? The curtains. It's coming to America, yeah? Sorry, trading places. You know what I like most? The curtains. Look at the curtains, man. Yep. All right, living room. Okay. Yeah, those are the gardens outside. We're on the first floor here, one floor up. Ah, uh, yeah. Six floors in the lift, if I remember correctly. Okay, so do anything there? Let's come through to the bedroom again. Nice chandeliers. So the uh, the Imperial Suite in this hotel, the Imperial Suite, uh, the ho it's a national monument by the French government. The Imperial Suite in this hotel. So the hotel are not allowed to go around changing all the furniture. Apparently it's been there since Napoleon's times. Yep. So the owner of the hotel is uh, the Fy Al Fayed family, Princess Diana, Dodi Fayed, like that, you know, the same father, the football, Fulham football team, was it? Yeah, I grew up in the UK, right? Same sort of time. And uh, so the Imperial Suite is like a national monument. So we're talking to the, when we checked in the guy that brings you to the room. So he's telling us the hotel are, around, are not allowed to change the furniture in there. It's been there since Napoleon times. All the other rooms, obviously, they renovate from time to time. The Al Fayed took ownership of the hotel in 1980 or something. And uh, I still remember where I was the exact moment when I heard the news about uh, Diana. Now, the exact spot is in Cambridge. Yeah, I was a student at the time. So I'm wearing my Cambridge t-shirt, you'll see. All right, not good. Yeah, so that's the bedroom. Yeah, Mr. Kay's wearing his Cambridge t-shirt. All right, for this video. Yeah, so that's my schedule. I'm taking the Mercedes out of here. All right. Like that. And then uh, you get your real phone charge and stuff. All for, all for different countries. USB, iPhone have changed their charging for the iPhone 15 again. So uh, I think places are adapting slowly to allow that. Yep. And so you control everything from, uh, yeah, you've seen the, the control mechanisms. Yeah, that's the bedroom. Went up the Eiffel Tower earlier, as you might have seen. Everything got wet, it's been raining. Let that dry there. Yeah, bedroom. And then let's go to the, uh, the store areas in here. That's a red boy, stuffed him up there. That's the other red boy down there, stuffed him down there. Yeah, so it's your bathrooms. I'll go in the spa. I've seen the pool already. We did a guided tour earlier. So, uh, yeah, the bathrooms. 
dry the clothes. Not many actually, uh, to give them all to be washed. Yeah. It's expensive to wash, it's actually less expensive. Actually less expensive to buy the new stuff, right? But it's wash your clothes, right? Yeah, so you got your toilet in here. Here's the toilet. With the flower, like that. So this is the, uh, the toilet. You get a little sink. Sports fans, that's my Cambridge shirt. For their reasons given already. The Louvre is just nearby. And the Mona Lisa is there, right? Yeah. And then uh, as you get up, you can do this laundry and stuff I was talking about. Yeah. Okay. And the bathrooms here. You know what's amazing here? Look at the, the taps here. Yeah? I'll just show you the taps. It's like a swan. It's a swan, yeah. And when you turn the tap on, it comes out like that. It's pretty amazing. Yeah, oh, that's cool. Yeah. It looks like there's a TV screen there. A little bath and... Uh, yeah, it looks like they're with their own brand. The Ritz brand. And so on. Uh, very nice. We've done the sports fans already. Boys and girls, welcome to Ritz Paris. Yep, I left this... Uh, <laughs> Same view. I left this one open. Yeah. I think that would be gold plate and not gold. Okay, and then I'll show you the shower through here. So you get your upstairs. Obviously, I haven't used the shower yet, right? I got in this afternoon. Upstairs, two upstairs, and then a sideways. And the toiletries. It's no brown rips. It's that marble floor. Yeah. It's pretty cool. There's no swans in here, it's just normal taps and mechanisms. Yep, like that. Okay, so where's the door now? Disorientated after. Okay, the door's here. So that was the shower, yeah. Okay, we'll get used to this. After two days. Alright. Yeah, you've seen that already. Okay, so I think that's the room. Let's step outside into the uh the balcony. The paintings. Okay, so that's the balcony. It's been raining all afternoon. Uh let me take you out. Okay, quickly just pull this handle. I've unlocked everything so you should just pull and it opens. Yep. Doesn't matter if it gets cold for a while. Put my shoes on. Yeah, it's raining here. Dip top, dip top. Bit of better, bit of better. Alright. So this is the balcony here. It's like this and uh, plants all the way around. So that's the hotel's garden, courtyard they call it. They said they don't have any service in there. That means, uh, you know, there's no service there, but uh, you can buy food and drink from the hotel and take it out. Or you can just sit in there and read a book or whatever you want to do, right? You do like your own garden at home, but they won't come and serve you food and drink in there, is what the guy told me. Maybe that's just seasonal, yeah. So uh, that's the view, because all the buildings. Just got in, like I said, so I don't know what all the other buildings are. Uh, government buildings or there's a lot of shops Bulgari's next door I saw that and the like yeah so there's some meeting rooms and stuff going on yeah. nice flowers and stuff down there raining yeah I knew I was getting a garden view balcony room when I booked I didn't realize it was quite so large yeah. all right let's step back from there I will take off my shoes yeah, my 
temperatures. Hopefully when it stops raining, we can uh, give you a decent view of that. Alrighty, it's the sweet tour here at the Ritz Paris. Okay, let's close the doors. Keep the place warm. Okay, get this it's like CDT at school, right? Get it all lined up and then bang. Like that, closed. All right, so that's a, uh, Mr. K's uh, Chez Moi at the Ritz Paris for the next two and a bit days. All right, last uh, two and a bit days of the holiday that's taken him from Andermatt to Zermatt to Geneva to Paris. All right, and well, sometimes the snow comes down in May and you go and save the best for last. Yep. June, I think the song is. Yep. Alrighty, so that is the suite. Okay, so I'll just add in clips as we normally do. Going to uh, the stay and uh, we'll give you a good feel of uh, the room. It's it dark at five o'clock here in November. It gets bright at eight o'clock in the morning. It's going to four o'clock, it's plenty of time. The next activity today is got afternoon tea at uh, 5.30 downstairs so yeah so all the clips pool breakfast dinner plus one dorm day and night like that all right mr k is going to sit down here and uh drink of his coke maybe see if that's a chocolate or a key and then uh we'll see you later here at uh the ritz paris all right see you in a bit Uh, afternoon tea at uh, Salon Prost. It's a very nice uh, afternoon tea at uh, the restaurant there, Salon de Prost. So just uh, stepped out of the hotel in the evening. It's the uh, Justice Minister straight ahead with the uh, the French flag flying. Uh, Place Vendôme looks beautiful. Yeah, Christmas trees are up. It's a very nice feel being out here. Yeah, it's Christmas trees outside our hotel. And, uh, Everybody's having a nice time here. It's Napoleon statue. Same square as the uh, Justice Ministry for the French Revolution, 1789, all for freedom. It's all the uh, designer shops. They're like Gucci, uh, got a banner up there. And uh, just panning around. Beautiful sight. Justice Ministry. The trick of law. Yeah, the Christmas trees are nice. That's our hotel uh, just, uh, just on the left there with the. Uh, yeah, it's a Bulgari straight ahead. The Christmas trees are nice. That's our hotel just there. Stepped out for a walk. Very nice. Beautiful place. It's 
spoke to the Christmas trees. Shimmering away nicely. It's about six weeks to Christmas, that's okay. All right, that's our walk. We go back inside, inside to the hotel. Go back inside to the hotel. All right, so it's just there. Just come to the uh, the famous bar Hemingway for a drink here. Bar Hemingway. So, a very good morning to you all uh, here at the Ritz. Local time is uh, six thirty in the morning. I'm going to uh, head down to the pool. It opens at six thirty. Head down to the pool for my. Uh, Early morning uh, swim here. The early bird uh, gets the worm, so to speak. Yeah, so the gardens. Uh... Six thirty in the morning. Pool opens. Everybody should be fast asleep. It's uh, November's morning in Paris. Okay, we'll go for a swim. You can see my reflection about their uh, their robes on. All right, let's see downstairs. That's what Mr. K looks like in the uh, the Ritz uh, bathroom. Gonna head down to the uh, the pool. All right, see down there. So we're at the, uh, the Ritz Club Spa, who uh, opens at uh, 6.30. There's the spa here. Welcome to the uh, the pool here, poolside at the uh, the Ritz, Paris. To get you in uh, for a dip. Hi, hello. Get you in for a dip in the pool. Hey, nobody else is here, so uh, we can do this. Alrighty, nice heated uh, soup. Not too hot. It's 0.9 meters at this side and 2.2 uh, meters at the other side. So we'll uh, keep ourselves to the side of the pool because I'm not 2.2 meters tall. Nice. Nice swimming pool. Where's the water here? Let's just see how far down we can go. Because it did say 2.2 meters at the other side. Alright, 
right, so we can get halfway. There's a step here. Right, it gets very deep. Alright, so we're gonna stop here. That's the guard, lifeguard. Nice painting on the wall. It's the pool, pool at the Ritz. Okay, we're gonna sit here for a while. I think there's a jacuzzi here, bubbles, possibly. All right, pool, Ritz, nice. Nice swim. Ready, it's breakfast time now. Nice swim, uh, heading back up to the room. Well, good morning to you all. So, a very good morning to you all here at uh, Place Vendôme, looking at uh, Napoleon statue, all the way up there. And, uh, let's come outside in the morning for a quick walk before breakfast. It's a nice uh, swim in the pool. It's our hotel straight ahead. Justice Ministry. It's a uh, Friday morning here in uh, Paris. It's a working day. So I see people uh, turn up for work and stuff. That's our hotel. It's there. It's the Ritz. Yeah, the Christmas trees are up. Saw that last night. Christmas trees are up. Yeah, this is Place Vendôme. What of a Napoleon statue. Side. Yeah, the day wakes. It's just coming up to 8 o'clock in the morning. I'm gonna head down for breakfast. Alright, so I'll see you at breakfast at the Ritz. Minister de la Justice. The rights of all men and women. And that's what the French Revolution did. Alright. See you for breakfast. It's our hotel just here. Let's come for uh, breakfast. Breakfast at the Ritz. This is the, uh, the omelette and the bacon, fruit salad and breads. So this is uh, smoked salmon, smoked salmon at uh, Marie Louise Beck restaurant named after Caesaris's wife, Marie Louise Beck, it's the name of the restaurant. There's a uh, very nice breakfast at the uh, Marie Louise uh, Beck Marie Louise Beck restaurant. It was formerly the uh, Espandon Fine Dining Restaurant. We're sitting in the Conservatory tomorrow, and then we've got dinner uh, this evening at Bar Vendôme. This is just on the left. Just in uh, one of the courtyards uh, between the Bar Vendôme and uh, Marie Louise Beck restaurant. Alright, we're going breakfast. It's a 
We've uh, come back up to our uh, suite after breakfast. Had a uh, morning of leisure in Paris. On our uh, balcony, looking at the gardens. Very nice gardens here. Just uh, take you out into the uh, into the gardens. Gardens uh, here at the Ritz. It's a nice morning. Uh, the sun is out, so uh, we we'll get our uh, garden walk in. Nice uh, fountain out the front. Yeah, so lovely uh, flowers. It's the lobby restaurant area of the hotel. All this. Gardens and just here, courtyard of the Ritz. I think there's a uh, lunchtime meeting, so I get this footage in early. Some interesting uh, flowers around the place. The trees have got this uh, kind of fruit. These white flowers as well. Yeah, it's a nice garden. Our room is uh, top left on the frame. I walked to our room. Down at the lips. Yeah, just walk up. You can use this place for weddings. Uh, probably play tennis on here, given how popular tennis is in France. Yeah, let's walk to the side and then we're going. This place you can sit and chill. Chilling zones. It's been raining, yeah, so the tables are covered in uh, leaves. Okay, and then uh, this side you've got all the, the shops that we saw. So those are all the rooms. Mine's a 118, just a bit further up. Nice gardens. Yeah, the ones with the balconies, those are our rooms. Let's walk you along, just to the end here. So walking parallel with the gallery, the shops. You see the shops in there, all the fancy shops. Yeah, let's get to the end. So somebody has been gardening. There's the gardens on this side, the Ritz Gardens. Mr. K's room is uh, just on the right here. It's the top three windows there. That's our bedroom and bathroom. That's our living room, just there. You can left the uh, towel out. Yeah, there's the gardens. Gardens at the Ritz. We've got a restaurant, the distance we're there. Yep, nice walk in the morning. Nice place to sit and chill, just outside our room. Alrighty. Uh, 
uh, dusk is falling here at uh, Place Vendôme. All the lights are uh, coming on. All the uh, luxury shops around the square. Let's go to uh, have a look. All the uh, Louis Vuitton is a uh, pride of place at the entrance on that side. I'm going for uh, dinner in the hotel's uh, lobby, brasserie, kind of place, Bar Van Dom. Going for dinner there this evening. So I uh, just step out and uh, step out and uh, have a look at the square before heading up. That's the uh, French tricolore. A lovely afternoon. It's sunny. Sunny, uh, so the trick lord doesn't need to do any work today. All right, so we'll see you in the hotel for uh, dinner. It's the Ritz. It's a place in the evening. It's a place in the evening. It's a sweet view. Gardens of the Ritz. Some kids playing uh, football. Kids playing football in the garden. It's the view here. So we've gone for the uh, the Ritz burger and a uh, croque monsieur. So uh, this is the Ritz burger. This is the Ritz burger. And, uh, croque monsieur. All right. It's the uh, the cake selection. Big selection at uh, Bar Vendor post uh, dinner. All nice. We had afternoon tea yesterday. All nice. Just uh, back in our suite after uh, dinner there. It's good food. Good food and good service at uh, the Ritz. It's the night falls here. Got a uh, rainy, uh, rainy final morning in uh, Paris today. We're at uh, Place Vendôme. That's us, the Ritz. That's us too. All right, we'll see you for breakfast.
So this is a round one breakfast. Got the coffee juice and the bread basket. I'll show you the main course uh, when we get it. All right. So we've got the uh, the main course, main course for breakfast. So we've got some uh, eggs, scrambled eggs, bacon, fruit salad. Coffee. This is your breakfast at the Ritz. So we've had a uh, lovely uh, stay at the Ritz Paris, great hotel and uh, thoroughly enjoyed our uh, stay here, We're getting uh, packed and uh, ready to uh, be on our way. It's the, uh, the North Face uh, bags packed and uh, get down to uh, Paris Charles de Gaulle Airport, taking the hotel's uh, Mercedes there. Get down to Paris Charles de Gaulle Airport and then uh, fly back to Singapore. But uh, the Ritz is an absolutely great hotel, yeah. Three of the best days of all time, uh, I would say. And uh, got to see Paris from a great location. Yep, so it's gonna have a snack before we get on the plane. Some risotto there, courtesy of room service. And uh, just quickly get you onto the balcony. To get into the balcony because the food will get cold otherwise. I've got another drizzly day, but that doesn't matter. Totally enjoyed our holiday here. That's the gardens of the Ritz. One last time. Great place. Viva la France. Viva la République. At the Ritz Paris. <laughs>